Good morning. This is good month. Good Monday morning, I should say. Uh, if you woke up today, it's good morning. A uh, good morning to you. Uh, this is Glenn Andrews of the Life Doctrines. Uh, a new day, a new sun. Uh, another time, another day, another moment to spend this time on this earth. Um, it's gonna be all positive right now. I woke up this morning with the with a sense of urgency, as I always do, with a sense of purpose. Um, some thoughts on my mind about my children and and things that I need to do. Had a chance to speak to an old friend, had an old coworker. He's doing fantastic. Me and him used to have conversations every day, just about life, sports, kids, training, everything all involved. Good man, good man. Uh, if you saw us two together with everything else going on in the world, you would say, wow, two opposites, a tall, muscular black guy and a short, bald, white guy. But we had a lot in common. And one of the things we had in common is that we put our kids first. Family comes first. And we as men doing what we need to do and making sacrifices to make sure they are as comfortable and everything is fine in their lives. Sometimes our selfishness misdirects us and takes us down a path of bad decisions. I've made a few. I know other guys that have made a few. And it sometimes take, if you are a father or a mother, it sometimes take looking at your kids and thinking about their needs and what they need until they, to they, until they are adults to get you back in focus. Uh, without a doubt, I would just, I just been on this, this trek of entrepreneurship and, and law of attraction and just, just anything creative that I can think of. I was putting it out there, doing it, building it, creating it, making it, constructing it. And it kind of got me off path and kind of got me selfish because um, I may have missed opportunities and I may have not taken opportunities that I should have. But I, th I think that's the path the higher powers have put me on for a reason. And maybe it brought me to this point. So it's, it's one of the things of this weekend, had a chance to talk to my son who's in college. And I'm always thinking about him and trying to get him in a, a spot where he's just as comfortable as possible so he can get good grades because that's the focus for him while he's in school right now and, and want to become a, a nuclear cancer doctor, researcher. Uh, same with my daughter, spend some time <laughs> this weekend with my daughter. She likes to, she's a senior in high school and she likes to test makeup and test stuff. And whenever she gets some new math stuff, she used me, her dad, which is funny, he used me as her test for her math stuff while I'm sitting at the computer working. And I often put the mask leader stuff on for more than 15 minutes or 20 minutes, and she has to scrub the stuff off. And so I either give her a thumbs down or a thumbs up that, you know what, my face is clean. <laughs> Beard and all. So... <clears throat> I look at my kids, I look at my wife, I look at my parents, but mainly I look at my kids and it 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 it, it gets me back in that that lion position, that that position of I need to stay hungry. I need to not make excuses for not getting anything done. Uh the one thing I won't do, uh I won't let my manhood be insulted. I think my kids need to know and see that at the end of the day I will always stand as a man. I will always be responsible and accountable as a man. And and I'll sell everything in this house, vehicles, jewelry, the trinkets, the material things to make sure they have a roof over their head, they're warm and they're fed. Then everything else become extras. But me as their dad and me being in a situation and being in the, putting myself in a good healthy situation as I do keeping myself healthy I will do whatever is needed to make sure that their needs are met and well taken care of so to this morning 
the thought that just hits my mind and I offer all to you is if you if you think you can't do any for those who don't have kids, uh, just think of your parents. Think of your mom, your dad, whether it, and, and then if it's a stepmom or stepdad or someone older than you that you respect. Think of think of them and use them as a motivating factor for doing what you need to do today, tomorrow, the rest of this week. Uh, for those of us who have children, look at your children. Look at your children. And if you think you're tired and don't have another second or, n- or another moment or don't have it, look at your children and I think you'll find it. You know, David Goggins uh, is a Navy SEAL and he always talk about that something else that you have inside that that you can always dig into and dig for and and pull out of yourself. Well, it's the same thing when you look on look at your kids and something outside of you that you can look at and say, you know what, I need to do this little extra. I need to do this something extra. Maybe I need to stay late tonight at the job. Maybe I need to uh, go shovel this shit. Maybe I need to go get this second job cleaning toilets. You know, you just never know. I've done it. We'll do it and we'll continue to do it until I know my kids are, are adults and they're just about there and they can take care of themselves. But just because I'm the kind of grinder and hustler that I am, I'm probably not going to stop doing that till I can't walk and I can't move. You know, I have I have many goals, and one of the goals I said, I'm going to keep benching uh, using 100-pound dumbbells till I'm 65. Then I'll stop using 100-pound dumbbells. But until then is when I decide I'm going to stop doing it. So that's how my mind works. I hope this little tidbit about purpose and looking at family, looking at moms, parents, if you don't have kids, look at your kids, if you need something to motivate you, because there's always a little bit more in you. There's always a little bit more in you, and you need to dig it out, grab onto it, and let it get you through the day, let it use it as a a focus point, use it as a center of where you're trying to go, but use it, use it as fuel. This is Glenn Andrews, this is the Life Doctrines, take this Monday, take the rest of this week, Take this month, take this year, and use everything around you, positive and negative, as fuel. Sign it out. T.O.D. The Life Doctrines. Glenn Andrews.